What's up guys? How you all doing? In the last video of my beekeeping, I inspect them and I saw one beetle in my beehive. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of the beetles in case you get into the beekeeping. Or it's also fun to know, maybe one day you'll become a beekeeper like me. So what I got over here is better beetle blaster. What it is, it's just holes over here. Bees is going to chase off all the beetles into these little things and it's going to be filled up halfway with vegetable oil and they just going to drown there. But bees cannot go through there so bees will not be harmed. So I'm going to show you how to install them, put vegetable oil in them and then in a week we'll see the result, see if it will work or not. Break it apart. gonna set this down over here as well look at them look how nice they are over there they make it a lot of comb looks like I'm not going to disturb them that much today I'm just going to put beetle blasters today so I'm not gonna inspect them today so I'm just going to fill it up halfway each doesn't have to be full at all and you see how I made a little hole in my vegetable oil so I don't over spill as you can see it's about halfway. I'm gonna wipe off this part where I filled it up with. Boom. And now we're just going to install it in there. I'm gonna do it as calmly as possible. Gonna move some of these ones to the side so I have space. You see I'm not wearing any suit. I don't wanna get stunned. Don't wanna get them angry. I think I'm gonna put them right here where they, most of them out there. I have to put it all the way in or it's not going to work. So next I have to just put it all the way in without disturbing them too much. There is bees, I don't want to squish them in there. And then I want to squish it all the way in as you can see. I want to put it all the way in so there is no gap over here because the beetles will hide over there. We don't want that to happen. As you can see, vegetable oil in there and bees is, will not want to go in there but it will catch all the beetles. Now I'm just going to put the hive back together the way it was. Now we're going to do the same thing with this beehive, just in case. I feel like this hive is a little bit stronger as you can see. Looks like a lot more of them. So first thing we're going to do, again, fill it up with the vegetable oil, beetle blaster, just like that, halfway. As you can see, that's about halfway. And same thing, you're just gonna stick it between the bees. Gonna give myself a little space to work with. And boom! It's pretty much done. Before I close them, I'm gonna just smoke them so they'll go away, so I can put them in. You see that smoke help them pretty good. You see, once they go away, I can easily close this thing without killing any of these bees. Okay, once they kind of run away, I'm gonna use this opportunity to close this real quick without killing any of them. Boom. All right guys, in about seven days I'm gonna come back and take that beetle trap and check it out, see if there is any beetles at all and inspect the hive again, see if I don't see any beetles and we'll see if it works or not. Another thing that I do to prevent hive beetles to get in into my hive is putting this powder. You see all that white powder all around this area. And it does not hurt the bees at all. So this is what I use, diatomaceous earth. Packaging could be different. This is organic, it doesn't really hurt the ground or anything. And so it will kill 
any crawling insects like beetles we don't want any beetles getting in into your hive over here a cup and just sprinkle it around and i wanted to do it lower to the ground i don't want to get it in the beehive as you can see and I, you want to do it when bees are about to go to sleep like late evening or like early morning so not as many bees are flying around this is when i like to do it all right I do not see the queen yet, so if I see it, I'll point it out to you. She might be somewhere in here, though. 